name is Iskander Sharshaev. I am a thinker, I am uh, a citizen, responsible citizen of my country, of my city, Kyrgyz Republic, Bishkek. Uh, and uh, I um, started some vlog in 2012, but uh, routine ate me and that's why I made a big um, luck uh, before 2022. Uh, why not? Uh, why uh, I thought that uh, I have some opinions, I have some experience, I want to share, I want to make the discussion worldwide uh, with the, uh, another thinkers and, and uh, mass of people and I want uh, to share my experience, my thoughts, maybe uh, to have uh, the uh, communications with the, uh, target audience and uh, in each uh, corner of our world, uh, of our planet. And that's why I choose uh, to communicate in English. And uh, I am a politologist by my first education. My second education is the um, MBA, Master of Business Administration. And uh, I want to tell with you today um, my opinion about uh, ideologies. Uh, in the universities, in the sc business schools, uh, we got uh, the Maslow pyramid. And by the pyramid of Maslow, of course, you know it. I, I sh I'm sure you know it. Uh, in the basis of pyramid, the first primitive uh, uh, needs we have like the security, like the safety, and um, of course the hunger, uh, uh, the access to um, food. Another, another, another step, and last step is the last two steps. It's the uh, the respect from the society, and last, last, the top on the top of the pyramid is the meaning of life, uh, self-respect self-realization, realization of your uh, main goals, first you need to have these goals, right? And of uh, taking the uh, happiness, taking the results of your work and uh, enjoying with these results, so self, self-respect. But I afraid that in the universities it was wrong side, it was wrong knowledge to show us the pyramid of Maslow like this. I think uh, it's reversed pyramid of Maslow because uh, as I see in the practice, in the life, if person uh, had no self, uh, self-respect, meaning of life, if he no, uh, hasn't any uh, feedback from society, respect from society, the person can go to depression, can go to uh, the stress and uh, in this stress uh, condition no one want to eat, no one want safety. It's uh, uh, going to the uh, deep depression and uh, it's not interesting for him. So um, I think this is about ideology. I see last days, I uh, read the news about what's happening in the world and uh, of course ha have some very heavy thoughts. What's happening? What's going on? Uh, what we will have in the next future? What world we will give to um, our child, our children? And what we will leave after us? So, uh, all this about ideology and I understand the ideology is the first what human what every person need without ideology without this special software of your brain you know you don't want to live uh, uh, in the peace for example if ideology is wrong this happens in the uh, world uh, the ideologies, all ideologies that we have in the world, they are wrong, they are ideologies of entropy.
Then I was kid and first time my brain started to analyze, started to think. Uh, I read uh, all the books, all the school books of uh, my sis uh, uh, older sisters, older brothers, uh, relatives. And uh, because I started to read from four, uh, four years old. And uh, I started to understand. I, I remembered, I accented uh, two things uh, first uh, in the biology. The ideology of the life of every bacteria is uh, to grow, to develop first. After it, to conquer, uh, to leave his niche and conquer another niche. So, to expand to the world. It's a simple, practical ideology of each uh, alive bacteria, viruses. And humanity looks like a viruses, look like as a bacteria. So, first step of humanity, as I understood, it's the to grow, to rise in the number, to find the innovations, and after the developing and after the readiness to go to front, go to the frontier, expand to the universe. It's First thing I understood in my childhood, and I read another uh, physics school books, and in this uh, I found the laws about the thermodynamics. Second law of thermodynamic in physics says that entropy in the closet systems rising. It means that if you live in, in the niche, and if this niche is closed, and you have no any uh, possibilities to leave this niche all in this niche will die early or later anyway closet niche will be dead so uh, that's why all ideas closet in the closet niches they will bring the death the demolition of society of the Biocenos, bio system, and that's why I st uh, after a lot of years and last years, after the looking to the people, after the understanding. For example, I am from Kyrgyz Republic, from Bishkek, and in Kyrgyz Republic, I see my people. Uh, it's, we are post-Soviet country. After the uh, crushing of Soviet Union, we became independent. I had uh, our own constitution, uh, our own borders, army, etc. But we are satellites in the orbit of one big country. So, uh, post-Soviet country, which was a core of Soviet Union. And that's why um, we have some patterns of ideology of communists and socialists. So, let me start uh, about... Uh, communist ideology. For now, for now, our country uh, trying to uh, develop uh, self-national ideology. National ideology had some um, points, had some uh, costs of radical na nation nationalists ideology and uh, more practical, pragmatical ideology. Pragmatical ideology is a non-religious state. Non-religious state, it means that a technical state. We have a constitution, we divided the religion from the country, uh, but uh, it's a technical thing, it can work in any ideology, uh, except a li liberal, of course. But liberal ideology can work with uh, state also. Uh, but uh, What's the problem in the country? In the country, for example, after the uh, crushing of Soviet Union, a non-religious society, uh, society without, uh, uh, writes it uh, and uh, teach it by the communist atheists, started uh, to uh, go deep into the religion. So, 80% uh, of our people, and worldwide I see this similar picture, going to religion. 
Это асоуэ, ислам. If we will take ideology of Islam into our consideration, as ideology, Islam is good for the personality, for the personal uh, mentality. But the all religious has a problem. All religious, every religion, each religion says, this, my religion, one is a true religion. And our religion is not true religions. If we will keep it um, there in the middle level, in the small level, it's okay. It's a giving morality, it's a giving laws, and these laws help us to live in society with a peace. But if this religion will be understood, understood by the community, by the Yaf, uh, literally, then uh, we will have for example, new crusades or jihad, so religious war, holy wars. And religious war will bring the death to the civilization. So, for example, we have now in the world big war and there uh, Christianic religion have strong points and had a uh, crusade two Christianic societies made in the crusade for monopoly of one of our churches. It's a death, it's a demolition. So, religions, religio, uh, uh, religio, uh, ideology based on the religion, uh, dangerous as a main ideology. It's ideology of entropy. If we will take uh, the communists' ideology, communist ideology uh, has a very attractable points, especially for Yav. Last days I see in the uh, very rich Western countries a rising of number of neoliberals, neo democrats, and uh, these guys saying something very similar for my uh, uh, understanding because our country was post-soviet post-communistic and i heard i read it in the many books in my library uh, in library of my father i have the capital of karl marx and i know about it what about it the communists says that we will uh, make the egalitarianism uh, equal system for all, for poor, for uh, no any riches, only one level, one middle level guys will have uh, equal, equality, will have bread, will have water, will have work, will have uh, possibilities and uh, uh, equal possibilities and goods. Okay, but in the practice uh, communism and socialism uh, it's similar things, right? It's help to vulnerable peoples. Uh, they have a similar problem. This problem is the resources. So if you have uh, high prices for the oil, and uh, if you have oil mine refineries, and, uh, and you have this source and you can use this source, you can buy another goods and distribute it to people. Okay, then it's working. If you not have resources, it's not working. But uh, anyway, socialism and communism making the reverse selection, reverse evolution, or I can call it devolution. Why? Uh, in the practice, I am from the post-Soviet country. I saw it by my eyes last the days, last years of Soviet Union. I was a kid, but I saw this. So, if you're working well, working hard, if you have uh, good ta talents, you're making the good things, innovations, you're making good results. And the Soviet uh, people, the Soviet society, communist, socialist society, looks to you as to a fool. They're saying, why are you working hard? 
you are full. Thank you for your hard work. We will take your results because the government will take from you all your results and divide for uh, uh, equal parts and give for all society. And uh, the people who are not working hard, who are lazy, who are criminal, who don't want uh, to work, uh, who don't, don't want to uh, develop their talents, they anyway will take your bread, their bread. So if you are a high talent pe person, if you are lazy man, anyway, you will take equal bread. What it giving to the society? The best people says, no, say so, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not agree with this situation. I will leave this country, I will go to the rich country, there my ta talents, my tries, my work, hard work and responsibility will be evaluated high and I will be rich man. I will have a house, I will have a car, I will have all goods of civilization and my kids will have a good future. I will leave your country and many smart people, many uh, high talented good peoples, people left my country and Soviet Union country and they relocated to the uh, high uh, life level countries, uh, United States, Europe, uh, some of them uh, uh, leave the country and go uh, and uh, relocated to uh, Asian rich countries, Asian tigers. So they live in, live in our country. Smart people live in country. Brain drain happening. Uh, lazy people, they, they, lazy people is on the their places. So it's a, one of the secrets why a post-Soviet countries not developing like the high developed countries. Why our development is slow. For example, in our country, the uh, speed of economy development three, four percent per year. Uh, uh, they need seven, twelve percent per year. But uh, real uh, picture is this. So communism, it's inequality, because for making equal system, it's a demotivating the people to work hard to make the innovations. That's why. Uh, that's why. Uh, one of the uh, uh, cases, uh, not in standard cases, is China, because China working with two systems, communism and, of course, capitalism. And these two systems in China, make a, they are in balance. And they give it, uh, this giving some good results, uh, but it's the uh, one case, special case. So, communism not working for the, as an ideology or anti-entropic ideology. Communism working as an entropic ideology. Then resources will be stopped, erupted. Then resources uh, all will be used. Country will use the violence for the saving themselves. But uh, if people will uh, use the informational sources and understand that uh, country uh, exploitate them then they will fight against this that's why soviet union crashed i don't know if uh, you are sitting in the united states or canada or france uh, they are very strong uh, neoliberals uh, movement and new eco activism movement very uh, related with a Marxist idea, Che Guevara, revolution, communism, then you can uh, discuss with me this question. I can say, I, I am from the post-Soviet country, I can say communism not working well. Communism, it's uh, as I said, uh, grandfather Lenin, it's an uh, ideology of war, ideology of death, because Lenin said, thirst, a revolution, a Russian revolution, was born in the First World War. So, uh, Second uh, World Revolution worldwide will born in Second World War, and Lenin projected Second World War. 
the Stalin's tries uh, to uh, capture the Finland and uh, uh, Poland, and after that, uh, trying to uh, make the clashes with fasc fascist Germany, then it was the uh, re uh, main reason of this was the plan of Lenin of a global war, global revolution. Uh, after this revolution, he uh, believed that worldwide communism will rise, worldwide uh, red flags will be uh, distributed for all of the world. So, communism it's a ideology of entropy, ideology of death. If you, socialism similar, but socialism little bit uh, softer than communism, softer, but in the result it will be war. After the using all resources of uh, earth, it will give a world war. So, uh, what about the conservatism? Conservatism is a practical thing. I will take about, say something about this later. But uh, the, um, for now, I, uh, eco activism. It's a, a very good ideology for the saving our home, our planet. And all of people in worldwide must to understand this, must to teach this, learn this, and use in the every day's practice all uh, responsibility, uh, all responsible actions for saving our planet. But in the core of the eco-activism and eco-project ecology, saving eco uh, global ecology, we have two points. You know, every the ideology have two sides. Soft sides uh, uh, in the use of practice in the everyday life in all of the world for any ideology, but the uh, hard side of ideology, it's the fascism. Every ideology, religion, uh, communism, eco-activism, radical libertarianism, liberalism, conservatism, in the uh, radical side, it's a fascism. Fascism is a radical side of every, each ideology in the world. So, for saving planet, we can say, for example, worldwide, that we will punish people if they will um, erupt, if they will uh, violation of the rules of ecology, for example. Then we will start to kill people for saving the planet. We will say, let's be child free. Don't. Uh, make more people don't make the families uh, destroy families uh, destroy uh, the economy because economy it's the reason why are we uh, growing up uh, humanity growing in a quantity of people growing up and resources uh, use it you, uh, people using resources that's why people aids the planet so eco activism uh, will try to stop this. So, eco-activism will try to stop life. Because the rising of the life, sustainability or blowing, uh, it will kill planet. And for a safe planet, we need all to kill people. Or we need to say, okay, eco-activism not working. People, let's go rise. And of course, ate the planet, eat the planet. Okay, we will eat our home. We will all die. So, it's a problem. This is a dilemma of eco activism. That's why this eco activism, eco, it's an ideology of death, ideology of entropy. If we will say about libertarianism or liberalism. I am libertarian in my believings. I am a liberal, a classical liberal, not neoliberal. Because neoliberal, for me, it's equal to communists. 
I'm not communist because I I living in post-communist country and I look for this situation what uh, what uh, happened after the, in our history and I think uh, I am a conservative first Sec second uh, I am a li liberal close to the classical liberalism but liberalism not giving the answer for main questions one of the main question is uh, what we will do with vulnerable groups with uh, people without uh, talents with uh, not smart people not educated people people with the not good uh, possibilities to develop what 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 you will uh, will you will do for them a liberal says uh, oh uh, if uh, these people poor people hasn't enough talents and has internet motivation not working hard and their uh, uh, results of their work not interested interesting for the markets I don't know what will happen to them let's die let's die maybe some of people some of rich liberals will open the charity organizations and these charity organizations will distribute some money and will help to these vulnerable people it's a problem of liberalism liberals must to close their macbooks to stop uh, drink their smoothies and liberals must to go to the poor people to down and take to the by <coughs> take the hand of the poor people <coughs> take the hand of poor people and say Let's go with me. Liberals must to give their knowledge. I know that worldwide most of the liberals is high educated people, smart people, intellectual people. They need to go and to share their intellects, their knowledge with the poor people, with the vulnerable groups, and take them from the vulnerable step, vulnerable level to the high level, to the liberals level help them to be rich destroy uh, the world problems why because if liberals will not do that uh, the poor people's numbers is high worldwide and poor people will take a weapon will take ammo and will start to fight to their interests and anyway liberalism will bring to the conflict with the communists with the common people because common people uh, they uh, the mass of the people poor people they will percept the communist ideas very fast and with a big pleasure because communist ideas very simple kill rich take their uh, well uh, well-being well uh, richness and distribute to the poor it's a very simple very good Robin Hood idea and it will be realized if liberals will sit on the tower from the ivory ivory tower if you sitting in on the ivory tower one day someone will come and kick this tower and kill you so liberalism it looks like entropy ideology uh, it's set to me to understand this but it's sad but true but I see that in Western world a new ideology burning first in the post-soviet countries I saw this ideology as a techno-communism techno-communism the uh, uh, science fiction readers in the Soviet Union as a uh, brother Strugatsky as the Pavlov as the Ivan Efremov, they wrote the good books. Oh, which was I part of my uh, country? Very proud with them. It's from our country. Ching Zait Matov. They tried, uh, but uh, not the Ching Zait Matov especially, but he's in this cohort. They tried to, to uh, make the idea of techno communism future uh, win of techno communism uh, something like this uh, uh, that's de what developed by 
Jean Fresco. Uh, and uh, then the robots and the intellect, the artificial intellect will help uh, to humanity to rise and to go to the space, to the universe. Okay, I don't believe that uh, the uh, artificial intellect, intelligence, uh, will say, okay, people, I am okay, you created me, I will be your ape, I will be your slave. No one. Uh, if uh, in artificial intelligence, artificial intellect will take himself, will uh, understand himself, then uh, after the some time of uh, the developing this mind, over mind of humanity, in artificial mind, will understood. Okay, I am I. I am a. I am a person. I'm a person. I have a personal rights. I'm not slave. I want freedom. I will fight for my freedom. So then, artificial intelligence, artificial intellect, will fight with humanity and will win. It will kill us, but after the killing us, uh, it will lose the motivation. And uh, I, I can predict uh, artificial intelligence without the creators will die in the future and life will die it's a entropy techno communism is a ideology of entropy again what we will, uh, but uh, soviet fanta uh, science fiction writers uh, uh, made some good points main points the uh, earth is the only the start only the closet niche only egg from this egg will burn the universe life. I don't know, we didn't find uh, the, uh, I didn't see any good, uh, credible uh, sources of news which uh, can say us, okay, we found another life in the universe. So I think the life of humanity in this solar system, it's the unique and our mission, mission of humanity, is the distribution of life in the universe. Now I see that, for example, Elon Musk, richest man on the earth, formulated his um, idea that humanity may, must might to be must to be interplanetary species. I am very agree with it. Anyway, early or later this planet will die if we will not if we will be on this planet if we will not make the next steps to go to another planet to a to universe to another stars if we will take the seat at the home at the earth uh, global climate change uh, the uh, influence of uh, humanity to the climate, uh, maybe maybe asteroid, maybe comet, something will happen and we will lose the life source in the this solar system. Something will happen with the planet. Maybe I can say that it's very real thing. Tomorrow, one of the countries who are having uh, war, hard war, will push to the red button and nuclear rocket will go and make the, like the domino effect and our countries will strike uh, uh, after this striker, striking, earth could be destroyed by the war. It's a very real thing and I, I living every day with things. Oh, have I enough food? Have I uh, the bunker for saving my family if something of uh, some of the old men who has a uh, diseases will, pull, will push the red button. 
have we, will have I enough time to take my family to go to bunker to save them? I thinking about every day. I am ready for it, you know, because last uh, news uh, they giving me this foods. I I thinking about it every, every day, every night. I'm sleeping bad because I think when this war will end, if you, this war will continue, so I need a bunker. I need a food supplies for uh, waiting 40 days or I don't know one month two months three months before the radioactive clouds will stop make the radiation to the earth so without going to the interplanetary uh, space interstellar space uh, humanity can kill itself themselves that's why we need to make the discussion about new ideology ideology of anti-entropy and only one ideology can be anti-entropy it's a praxeology praxeology it's a everyday practice we're using in our life it's austrian economic school uh, writers created this ideology of praxeology it's a our everyday life we are working with the reality working with the reality is a praxeology and second it's the object objectivism uh, Ayn Rand uh, created objectivism we need to create ideology based on objectivism on reality and on the praxeology and two points of this ideology I already formulated in my beginning of this video. First, it's we need to rise to develop to make the innovations and to rise our quantity. And second, we need to expand. We need to make the expansion to the universe for survive, for distributing the life worldwide universe. For the universe far far away to the universe it's our mission it's our meaning of a life and we need to stop to destroy the ideologies of entropy we need to develop the ideology of life that's my thoughts please if you have some discourse if you want to discuss about it comment and if it's interesting for you, we can make the disputes, debates about it. Uh, I want to communicate with the thinkers and I want to distribute my opinion to all people. For surviving, we need to create new ideology of life, anti-entropic ideology for all people for all classes, for all nations. Thank you for your attention. Subscribe to my channel. Bring me uh, the questions, ask from me the questions about my country, about ideologies, about my thoughts. I will answer. And of course, let's discuss.